Linderbaum, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And the Ravens, in the pick that they traded Hollywood to acquire from the Cardinals, then they traded that pick with the Buffalo Bills and they moved down two spots from 23 to 25. They used that pick to select center Tyler Lindenbaum. And I know for a lot of Ravens fans, they were like, ugh. But a lot of Ravens fans were like, ooh. Because the Ravens, and I'm way more on the ooh side with this one. Reason being, is this a sexy pick? No, it's not. But it's something that we have been clamoring for all season and all off season. Build up that offensive line for Lamar Jackson. We watched Lamar Jackson last year get taken out because the offensive line couldn't block. He did not finish the season. We watched Lamar Jackson the previous year get taken out because of a terrible snap that went way over his head. He went to go recover, and he ended up throwing the ball away but got whacked, landed on his head, concussion, you're done. So Lamar Jackson due to the offensive line, has not been able to finish the past two seasons. So this pick was not a bad pick to me. It was not. Because it's exactly what Ravens needed. And there have been a lot of Ravens fans, uh, whenever we had the discussion about Patrick McCarry being a starting center, be, or possibly being a starting center, and even when John Harbaugh brought it up like a month ago, a lot of Ravens fans were like, Ugh, remember what he did? Remember that high snap that he had in the playoff game? Yuck. Even though Patrick McCarry is center, I think he did a lot more good than bad, but a lot of times people often remember the negative instead of the positive. And that's just how a lot of people can be in life, but it is what it is. But um, the Harbaugh said tonight, like, Linda Baum, he's probably going to be the starting center. But he said, oh, but the McCary, he, he'll still get a little shot at it. But he, he'll probably get some, some, some shots at some other places along the offensive line. So we'll just see. But you have your guy. And now, see, the difference between, and, and this, I remember um, we had said it in a video. I was like, oof. Well, I guess Linda Baum it is. But uh, and I, I didn't really think too much of it. When Eric DaCosta, an oppressor, he was like, yeah, there's some centers, there's some very quality, there's some high quality centers that we see could be taken in some later rounds, in like rounds four or five, something like that. And I was like, oh, yeah, he take Leonard Baumden. But, again, I didn't, I didn't really think too seriously of that, but he ended up getting them. Um, so with that being said, yeah, this, this is a good move because this helps you protect your quarterback, and your quarterback needs to be protected with the highest quality possible. Now, in this rushing offense, Linderbaum would be good for it. You know, a lot of people talk about how he's short, he low to the ground, he's uh, his arms short, but I think he'll be fine. I think he'll fit in quite well. Patrick McCurry. He has some short arms. He didn't do too bad at center. But Patrick McCarty wasn't even a center. He was a, uh, what was he, a guard slash tackle or something. He was an undrafted free agent who had, he had never played center. And then he just went right in there and did his thing. Or maybe he hadn't played center since high school. I forget what it is. Anyway, but Linda, Linda Baum, he was a center. He plays center in college. And the, I don't see the Ravens. The Ravens are not going to Bradley Bozeman this thing to where they're like, hmm, oh, you know what? You play center in college, uh, but we have somebody there already, so no, we're going to have you play something else. No, he plays center in college. Right now, it's a vacancy there. Yeah, Patrick McCarry could be the starter, but Leonard Baum is going to be the starter. That's your starting center. So it, it makes the transition for him that much easier and smoother. It makes the process smoother for everybody. Because you have somebody that's used to playing a position, somebody that's played the position, somebody that's played the position in cold weather too. That's big. But it, it just, it, 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 it was a smart move. I, I, I do not have a problem with this pick. I like it. I like it. Because you want... Your center to quarterback exchange with the football, you want that to be as smooth and as seamless as possible. 
Because as Ravens fans, we know when it's not a smooth transition, when it's not a smooth process, oh, it's so ugly. It can be so ugly. So ugly. But as far as Ravens and um, just his development, I think he'll be in good shape. He'll be in good shape because, again, we just mentioned with Patrick McCarry. Mascaro was the starting center. He was doing a phenomenal job. He was playing at a Pro Bowl level. He got hurt. Ravens like, okay, Patrick McCarry, you step in. Little arms, Patrick McCarry. Short arms, Patrick McCarry. Un inexperienced Patrick McCarry at center in NFL. Undrafted free agent. We didn't hear a peep out of Aaron Donald. Patrick McCarry's first game starting at center. Did not hear a peep out of Aaron Donald. A peep. Nothing. And Patrick McCarry continued that quality all through the rest of the season. So we see guys like Ryan Jensen, late round draft picks, who ended up developing pretty well. Obviously. Got paid a whole lot of money by the Bucks. A couple years later, end up winning the Super Bowl with them. So, as far as the development of Tyler Lindenbaum, I, I'm, I'm not afraid of it. Cause I know some people say, oh, yeah, he get pushed around a little bit. He get pushed back a little bit. Oh, what about those, those, those NFL defensive linemen? They going to push him back. He's in a good spot. He's in, he's in good shape. He's in a good position with a good team that, that is going to be able to develop, even though he's highly developed already. He's a first-round pick for a reason. But now the Ravens can make him even better. He's in a good position. This is a, a good move for the Ravens and something that they needed. Just to, and it gives them consistent quality at center. And that's something that they have been lacking. Consistent quality at center. They had this rotating door at center for the past couple of years. Whether it was due to injury, whether it was due to COVID, whether it's due to whatever. Because last year was Bradley Bozeman. Then in the game last year was Tristan Colon Castillo. It's been Patrick McCarry. It's been Matt Skura. It's been this, this, this rotating door, man. But now you got a first-round draft pick, so you got him for at least the next four years and possibly five years if you want. But that gives you consistency. And again, this is somebody that's been playing the position consistently in college, but now he can go to the pros and consistently continue to play the position. It's a good move. It's a good move. It makes your team better. So the, another thing that goes in his favor, to his right, Kevin Zeitler, who had a really good season last year. If he can keep up that quality, that'll help Lindenbaum that much more. Then at right tackle, if it's Morgan Moses, same thing. Like the, the offensive line, I, I forgot who it was. I don't know if it was my guy Cam Neal or who it was, but somebody explained one time how the, the offensive line, they're like, a, they're like chains. It's like a chain, like, a, like links on a chain. And if one breaks, then oh man, yeah, it could all come apart. But you're only as strong as the guy next to you. At left guard, whether it's going to be Ben Cleveland, whether it's going to be McCary, whatever it's going to be, it's got to be quality. At left tackle, hopefully, oh goodness, hopefully Ronnie Stanley can be ready. Hopefully. If he can be ready, that will be great. And if he can be not even just ready, but be fully healthy. Oh man, that would be great. But this offensive line, they, they took a step forward tonight. And now, when you think about it, it's like, hold up. Ravens, they, do they got like some depth at offensive line? Think about it. If Ronnie Stanley is healthy, that's a big if. But at center, you got Linda Baum, you got Patrick McCarry. At right guard, you got Kevin Zeitler, possibly Tyree Phillips. At right tackle, you got Morgan Moses, Juwan James. Uh, there's David Sharp too At left guard There's possibly Ben Cleveland And again possibly uh, Tyree Phillips Because he was the one that won the starting job in the first place um, At left tackle You got Ronnie Stanley Maybe Jawan James Maybe Patrick McCary 
And, you know, they're not done yet at the offensive line, but when you hear it, 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 it sounds a lot better than what it sounded like last year. So let's see how the rest of the draft shakes out. Let's see how this thing moves forward, and let's see what these Ravens do, man. Y'all know me. I'm not one of them people that's like every single move that the Ravens does is good. Yo, y'all know that. I ain't like that at all. <laughs> If I disagree with something that they do, I will gladly let you know, respectfully too. But these two moves, I'm, I'm cool with it. I love y'all, appreciate y'all, and we out.